Okay, maybe we can start now. Well, good day, everyone, again. Um, so we've heard this this uh, earlier today, um, this morning, this afternoon, or this evening, about the logical structure of uh, Jetscape, Xscape. Now we also get to use it. So Chaturanga, take it away. Uh, hi, everyone. So in this hands-on session, I, I will mostly talk about uh, how to uh, run Jetscape framework using different uh, parameter settings, uh, different uh, jet energy loss modules, and so on. So uh, first, uh, I would like to thank everyone who helped others uh, with the preparatory in instructions. And if you have any questions, you can ask uh, from Slack channel. And uh, in this session, Heda and uh, Joe will uh, help you as TS. And before going into details, let's uh, uh, let's have a quick poll to check uh, how, how many people completed the preparation for the uh, hands-on session. So if you complete the preparation, please uh, use this uh, uh, tick mark in the uh, Zoom. And if you are partially finished or incomplete, use this uh, cross mark and we'll count and uh, we'll move forward from there. So, so far we have about 25, 24. Uh, this is very helpful because uh, if a majority of people have not uh, completed the preparation, then uh, it's, it's not good to move forward. You want to reiterate the question again, Chaturanga? Uh, so, if everyone, if somebody has any problem with the installation or preparation instructions, then they should use this this red cross mark in the Zoom. So so far we have about five people who couldn't complete, and you can ask any question about preparation instructions in Slack channel and uh, you will get uh, help instantly for your questions. And this is more important because uh, when you move forward, uh, this is the basic thing you need to have uh, in this installation. So I'm counting about 30 people who have uh, successfully completed the preparation. Sorry, I was late for the first time. So the preparation is what you mean in the, in the GitHub page, right? Yeah, yeah, in, in the GitHub page. Uh, let me... Okay, thank you. So these instructions, uh, so you should follow these instructions uh, from the GitHub page. Well, I, I run the test there, but I didn't get any .hepmc file. I got a .dat file. Yeah, so hepmc file, uh, so 
in this uh, XML file that we are using, we turned off FMC output. So because of that, you you won't get FMC output. So I will show how how you can uh, change the XML file uh, so that you can get FMC output as well. But uh, in this hands-on session, I'm I'm only using the ASCII output. But uh, you can use the FMC output as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, so so far we have like uh, 33 uh, people completed and five incomplete. So uh, please ask any question if you have uh, to complete this uh, installation process. Uh, so sorry, one more question. Is it necessary to use Jupyter? I don't use it. Uh, not in this session, but you will need to use it in the future session. Can I just use pure Python? Uh, yeah, that depends on the session. So usually we provide Python scripts along with the Jupyter Notebook, but it, uh, it entirely depends on the session. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I also got a question. Um, regarding these instructions, right at the end, it said that uh, I needed to install root uh, through yeah. through the Docker, but I already used root. Uh, so my question really is, is, can I use the root I already had installed or should I install it again using the Docker? Uh, I don't think you need to install it inside the Docker because uh, I think root is uh, the route is provided in the Docker container. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, let's move on then. Uh, so we have uh, 34 people who completed. So there are five people who didn't. So I, I strongly encourage you to uh, uh, send messages and try to solve your problems uh, within this session. So I will, I will move on with the presentation. So So before going into uh, further details, so uh, I will ask you to go uh, install this uh, hydro sample because it, uh, uh, it can take uh, some time. Uh, so let me let me uh, show how we can do that. So first you need to go to this uh, Jetscape uh, school page uh, that uh, you have uh, created uh, directly. So, so we have, uh, sorry, Jetscape Docker directly. Uh, so here we have uh, Jetscape stat and summer school directories inside and just go to uh, Jetscape and examples. And inside the examples, you can see like there are different uh, example hydro profiles available uh, for different centralities and 2.76 TV lead lead collision. So uh, in this session, I will use this uh, 0 to 5 percent, but uh, uh, feel free to use others as well just to get. Uh, get some uh, experience with that. Uh, just use dot slash uh, uh, get hydro sample and done. And it, it can take some time uh, depending on the connection. And so it's typically about 200 megabytes or something. So uh, let it do it, uh, let it download and let's move on with the uh, slide. 
Uh, so if you have any question, uh, please uh, ask before moving further uh, to download this uh, hydro file. Yeah, there is a comment to ask you to increase the font size in your terminal. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. And... Uh, I hope this is enough. Uh, maybe. Okay. okay, so let's move on uh, to the discussion. So uh, in this hands-on session and all the hands-on sessions, we, we use Docker. Uh, the main reason is that installing Jetscape needs uh, different uh, softwares, different uh, uh, different softwares to be installed, and because of that, we need to have uniform software environment. Uh, therefore, we provide this Docker environment so that it's easy. But one can install it in their computer manually, but it requires different softwares and uh, all these details are uh, explained in the uh, Jetscape GitHub page as well as uh, in the Jetscape manual. And uh, so since you all made this Docker container, let's uh, try to get into that Docker container. Okay, so first, uh, so it shows the uh, uh, by using this command, we can see the Docker containers available, and then we can uh, start this Docker container. So now we are inside this Docker container. Let's see. Uh, we can see the three uh, directories inside. And so for the uh, for the uh, so to get the latest uh, version of the uh, repository, summer school repository, just go to this uh, uh, summer school. and use git uh, pull to get the latest and uh, it, it will uh, it will uh, get all the required uh, files from the repository and then let's move on to the next slide so uh, this is the uh, most important part when running the uh, jetscape code the XML configurations. There are two XML files uh, uh, that used in the uh, used when running Jetscape framework, and the first one is the master XML. Uh, so you don't modify this master XML uh, because it has all the required uh, code, required uh, parameters for all modules that can used in Jetscape simulation. So you can open this um, uh, master uh, XML configuration from, uh, from this link. So let's do that. So let's get config master. 
let's turn it over there and let's use script master so in the master xml as you can see here uh, we, uh, first we have the number of events and uh, this view side row so this one is used when we use the uh, previously built hydro profile uh, so this reuse means uh, we can repeatedly use the same hydro profile and uh, these are some debugging parameters and uh, in this part we specify our output so this output name uses uh, for all output uh, uh, and one can specify the ASCII, GZIP, or HEPMC, and also uh, one can produce the final state partons and final state hadrons separately. And for this seed, one can use any number for that. Number zero means it's random, but we can use uh, different seeds, and it is important when we're running uh, multiple. Uh, multiple runs for same setting. And for the initial state, one can use Trento and also uh, one can read the initial state from a file. And for the hard process, uh, one can choose from PGUN or Petiagun. Here PGUN means we use monoenergetic jet uh, simulation. That means we create a part on with specific transverse momentum given here and uh, we can use uh, different types of patterns uh, and we can define it here and in the petiagon that means we uh, create the initial hard scattering from petia uh, for given uh, center of mass energy and uh, specific pt hat uh, range and for the energy loss because when we uh, so after we create the initial hard scattering we need to go to the uh, part on shower uh, that that handles through this uh, energy loss module uh, so uh, these are some common settings for different energy loss modules and we have uh, four different uh, uh, three different uh, energy loss four different energy loss modules that we can use matter LBT, Martini, and ADS CFT. And these are the specific parameters for these modules. And uh, this is uh, a specific uh, right environment for right uh, final state partons. And this is a pre equilibrium module. So one can use. Uh, uh, free streaming or uh, null pre, pre equilibrium module within this uh, part and next one is the hydro uh, there are different hydro profiles uh, hydro uh, uh, simulations that we can use uh, brick gubser uh, we can read hydro from file and we can use music uh, clvs and so on and for the hadronization, uh, there are three types of hadronization modules, uh, colored, colorless, or hybrid. So in this uh, hands-on session, we use colorless hadronization module. Here, colorless means uh, color is assigned at the time of uh, uh, hadronization. That means we, we don't keep track on color for all the patterns. Uh, and uh, uh, finally, we have this uh, soft particleization and hadronic afterburner module and their settings uh, defined in the master uh, XML file. So this is all about the master XML file. We don't modify this and we modify the uh, use XML file. Uh, we can get information from the master XML file and put it in the use xml file and you use it in uh, 
real simulation. So, okay. So when it comes to use XML file, uh, in this uh, case, we are using uh, three different use XML files, one for the vacuum simulation and two uh, for medium simulation. Here we use, uh, for the medium simulation, we use uh, Matter and LBT configuration and Matter and Martini configurations. And uh, we can get final state uh, partons and hadrons from this. And uh, then we try to uh, get the uh, particle distribution of uh, transverse momentum distribution out of that. So, so far, if you have any question, please uh, feel free to ask. Okay, let's move on. So, so for the user uh, XML file for the vacuum simulation, we use this uh, path. So inside the summer school file, we have this uh, July 25 framework. And inside that we have XML directory and you can find this uh, XML file. So let's uh, open that XML. Okay. So uh, in this case, as I said, uh, uh, we are using mono energetic jet. Uh, so we are not using uh, Petya gun for that. So because of that, we use P gun. And for the energy loss, we use matter energy loss module uh, in its vacuum configuration. That is uh, the same parameters used in PP19 tube. And for the hadronization, we use colorless hadronization. And here I said, uh, number of events for 200 but you can adapt this accordingly uh, depending on your uh, performance of your machine because sometimes it can take longer time to run uh, as in m1 max so i don't know the reason but it can take longer time uh, and for the output file name uh, we use this test out vegan vacuum. And so it will create uh, three output files, one uh, with all the information in it and two files for partons and hadrons separately. Okay. Okay, so Yeah, I think uh, I talked about everything. And so let's try to generate uh, these events. And uh, to generate these events, you need to go to this build folder and uh, run, uh, run Jetscape using the XML file that we, uh, that I talked about earlier. So, Okay, so we can do run Jetscape. And XML. And it will start running. It it can take uh, uh, some time to run as it has two hundred events. So let's see this output. So first we have this Jetscape logo, and 
uh, it initialized the Jetscape framework and uh, first it uh, shows the XML files uh, used, master XML file and the use XML file. And here it is specified the number of events. Uh, if reuse hydro is used, uh, it doesn't matter for the vacuum case because uh, there's no hydro profile. Uh, and some uh, other information about uh, the task list. And here we can say found six modules to initialize. And so first it run init task. Uh, first one is the P gun with 100 GV uh, blue on. And the energy loss manager. Uh, for the energy loss, it found uh, one because we used uh, matter only and here it initialized the matter and all the information about uh, matter parameters is given here and uh, all the other information about shower and finally it shows uh, how many events uh, and here, uh, as you can see, we have three output files. Uh, one test out vegan, and the other two for partons and hadrons. The, the initial part of the name is same as uh, this part, uh, as we use the, uh, that name uh, in our XML file. We can change it uh, accordingly. Okay, so, now let's look at this output. Uh, first, let's look at this uh, uh, test out. That means we have all the information. So, So uh, it shows the event number at the beginning and uh, this is information about uh, the heart cross section. And here it shows the, uh, what, uh, what are the initial patterns. Uh, here we use PGAN with uh, 100 GV gluon, as you can see here. Uh, and here we have energy 100 and uh, momentum in C direction of PC 100 JV. And it also shows the shower initiating pattern because when we use Petia gun, there can be uh, more than one showers. So for each shower, we have uh, different shower initiating patterns. So for this shower initiation, uh, so in this case, we have only one shower initiating pattern. Therefore, for this shower initiating part on, it shows the history of the uh, shower. Uh, here it shows the vertexes and uh, split into different patterns, as you can see here. And finally, it shows the uh, hadronization, hadronized part on list. Okay. So, so far, if you have any question about this, please uh, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, uh, or Use, uh, use a message or in the Slack, please ask any question. So now let's look at this uh, hadrons or partons file. So let's try to look at this hadrons file. So we have this uh, test out uh, vegan vacuum hadrons file. So let's 
do okay. so here you can see uh, so in this part shows uh, the column uh, what each column represents so for the first column we have uh, index number and for the second column we have part on id uh, and in the third column there's status so this status is important when we uh, run uh, simulate heavy ion collisions because in heavy ion collisions when we use recoil we have different status and depending on this status we can identify holes and later we can subtract the holes uh, in the uh, uh, analysis. And after that, we have energy, Px, Py, and Pc. And in this line, it shows the event number, uh, weight, and event plane angle, and uh, last, uh, the number of hadron uh, in, the, in that event. So, when we uh, when we do the analysis of this data uh, we can use this information uh, for this analysis and uh, if you look at the end uh, so let's do so at the end we have the uh, hard cross section and the error so that you can, uh, in this case, it is not important because we used a uh, mono energetic jet. But uh, when we have uh, when you have real simulation, then we need to use this uh, cross section and the cross section error for uh, final analysis. So therefore, we have all the information we need uh, to do uh, do an basic analysis, but if you need uh, further information like uh, uh, intermediate shower information, then you can extract this information from the test out file. Okay. So, if you have any question, please uh, let me know. Uh, so, so this this ends the uh, vacuum simulation so uh, now we are trying to move on to the uh, medium simulation that means matter uh, plus lbt and matter plus martini simulation if you don't have any can question we, uh, can, we, can we generate a poll to see how they are going yeah sure we can do that uh, so if you have any question or if you are lag behind please uh, uh, use the uh, tick button or cross button as previously I just, while they're doing that can you click the format button at the top right of your screen right no this no one? not that no no the one that's on the keynote uh, this one right nope yeah <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> i think he has highlighted it for you yeah here yeah okay. can you click it yeah i clicked it uh, i don't know Oh, this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so far, only two uh, ticks. Please uh, use that. That that is uh, very important because uh, then we know uh, everyone is in the in the track so everyone understand or everyone follows
in this lecture we mostly talk about general stuff on running uh, simulating uh, jetscape uh, because uh, uh, it is very important when we go further uh, in the sessions uh, you need to know these stuff uh, to complete this uh, some hard tasks uh, that are coming up Chaturanga, you want to say again what you want people to do? Uh, so, if you have any question, please use uh, the Red Cross. Uh, if you have, if you don't follow up or if you have any question, uh, if you are, if you understand and if you can follow up everything, just uh, use the tick mark, green tick mark. So so far we have eleven. So if you have any question about this, please uh, uh, use this uh, Zoom chat or you can post it in the framework session in the uh, Slack channel as well. Uh, you will, your problem will be solved, uh, solved very soon because there are plenty of people who are willing to help. Okay, so I think let's move on uh, mm -hmm. because we have like 16 tick marks and only one uh, cross. So if you have any question, please uh, ask it in Slack or uh, in the chat box, then uh, we are happy to help. Okay, so so now we have uh, the final out, output for vacuum simulation. So let's move on to this uh, matter plus LPT. So here we use uh, multi-stage evolution uh, with matter and LBT. Uh, let's go into this uh, XML file and uh, try to understand these uh, parameters, different parameters we are using here. So uh, first part is similar to the vacuum, but uh, the only difference is this reuse hydro. So since we have only one hydro profile, we set this number of reuse hydro to 100. But if we have two hydro profiles, then we can use it. Uh, uh, first hydro profile we can use for 50 events, and we can use the second hydro profile for the remaining 50 events. So we can change it to 50, and according to uh, so depending on that, we can use different number for this uh, entry use hydro. And okay. and here we use the same uh, uh, P gun. And uh, for the pre-equilibrium dynamics, we use uh, null pre-equilibrium dynamics. We are not using any pre-equilibrium. And for Okay, so uh, I forgot to mention about the initial state. Initial state is also uh, included in these hydro profiles. Therefore, we read these initial states from the file. And uh, for the hydro profiles, we read 
uh, these hydro profiles from the file as well. And for the energy loss, we have now we have two energy loss modules. And as you can see here, we set this in vacuum to zero. We used it as one for the vacuum simulation, but now it changed to zero because we are in a medium. And we changed this uh, Q0. Q0 means the switching virtuality uh, to two, because here we are switching between meta and LBD depending on the virtuality of the partons. And here we set recoil to one. That means uh, recoil is turned on in matter and uh, recoil is also turned on in the uh, LBD default. And, and we need to use the same Q naught value for both, uh, both meta and LBT modules. Uh, if, if you use different values, uh, it can cause problems because uh, we need to use the same switching virtuality to switch between uh, different uh, energy loss modules. If you use different values, then it can have some instant uh, that part on may not have any modules to go or part on can compete between two modules. So that is important to make sure to use the same value for this. And and for the hadronization module, we use colorless hadronization. Okay, so these are the difference between the uh, vacuum run and the medium run. Now let's try to uh, do the simulation. So to do the simulation, we need to be inside the build uh, fold as usual. And then, then And now we need to specify the XML file. Now we can run. Yeah. This can take uh, quite a lot of time uh, since we are using 100 events. Uh, so while it is running, let's uh, talk about the uh, output, uh, screen output. So similarly, we have Jetscape logo and initialization uh, two XML files used. And number of events is, uh, in this case we use 100, but uh, it can be large. So if it is too large, then you just reduce it to different number. And in this case, there are nine modules to initialize. So initial state is uh, read from the file. And as you can see here, uh, so these are the information about initial state. And here we have P gun, similarly to the vacuum simulation. And for the pre-equilibrium, null pre-dynamic. Uh, and for the uh, fluid dynamics, hydrochrom file. Uh, jet energy loss manager. So first, uh, it initializes uh, 
one energy loss manager and then it has two e loss module so first one is the matter and the uh, second one is the lbt so uh, if you want to run lbt you need to download the lbt tables that you did in uh, in uh, uh, initial process of uh, installing all this stuff but if you haven't installed this uh, lbt tables you won't be go beyond this point So now we have all the information about uh, the pet. Uh, all the information about uh, the pet here. Uh, and uh, we are going to run 100 events. So you might get this uh, HDF error. So that may be due to the uh, this is not an error this is a, just a warning so uh, please ignore that because that might be some issue with the hydro profiles that are uh, example hydro profiles because of that there might be issue so please ignore that and you can see it uh, uh, runs uh, for 100 events and it can take uh, quite a lot a lot of time Okay, this is a good time uh, to take another poll. So if you have any issue running this uh, uh, simulation, please uh, use the cross uh, symbol. Uh, and if you, are, if you are done with that, use the uh, tick mark. So there are two issues. Can I ask what does LBT stands for? So LBT is the linear Boltzmann transport. Uh, so LBT is used in linear Boltzmann transport uh, equation uh, to deal with low virtuality pattern. Okay. so so here here we use multi-stage evolution so uh, matter module uses uh, the declap evolution uh, in medium declap evolution to deal with the high virtuality patterns and the lbt module uses linear boltzmann transport uh, to deal with uh, low virtuality patterns so uh, by combining this uh, we can get a realistic simulation so similarly, we can use, instead of LBT, we can use Martini, of course. And in Martini, uh, it uses uh, the AME formalism, uh, which which incorporate multiple scattering per emission. Okay, thank you. So we have three crosses. So, Can you please uh, uh, use some, send us a message or speak up regarding your issue? Okay, so far we have uh, about eight responses. Please, uh, please respond. And this is important to understand where we are right now.
so uh, i will i will explain the poll again so if you if you have completed this all all these steps please uh, use the green tick mark and if you have any issue please use the cross so 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 far we can see about uh, 13 responses and three uh, three crosses Fifteen and three. So, if you are unable to download the hydro profiles, uh, then maybe you can try using the other XML file that I provided, which uses the test uh, uh, GUBS hydro profile. Uh, that that can be used to uh, used as well uh, but uh, in that case we don't have a realistic hydro profile but uh, but uh, we can run uh, we can uh, understand how to simulate so let me show that as well so So here we have these uh, uh, GUPS uh, XML files, two XML files, uh, one for Meta plus LBT and one for Meta plus Martin. So if you have any issue with, with these hydro profiles, then you can uh, try using these uh, uh, GUPS uh, uh, hydro profile, hydro, uh, GUPS hydro, test GUPS hydro. So, so that you can understand how we can use the hydro medium with multi multi-stage evolution okay so uh, we have 16 and three issues uh, still so uh, please uh, please use slack to answer your questions and uh, you can get a good response uh, soon and you can resolve your issue so let's, uh, let's try to move on uh, with the with the discussion. So now we have this uh, meta meta and LBT uh, meta plus LBT run. So let's uh, so the final state uh, final state had drawn and part on and by uh, final stage shower information are available so you can see here so we have uh, uh, final state hadrons and partons with meta plus lpt runs and also we have uh, test out so let's look at this test out uh, similarly as the uh, similarly as the vacuum case so 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 this is uh, quite long because we have a uh, large number of hadrons produced uh, but uh, the information is similar we have event and uh, the event and the event information then we have the uh, 
part on list and the shower initiating part on then the uh, part on shower so since we are in the medium we have uh, scattering and uh, number of scattering and emission because of that we have a lot of shower information at the middle as you can see here uh, and finally you will be able to see the uh, hadron information so if you if you need information about the intermediate shower then we can extract this information from here uh, but in our case we only need the final state part on uh, or final state hadrons therefore uh, let's look at uh, this uh, final state hadron slide So similarly, we have the uh, initial line explaining the uh, each, what each of these columns mean. And then we have the information about the event number, weight, event frame, angle, and the number of hadrons. As you can see, we have uh, quite a large number of hadrons uh, in this event uh, since we are, uh, we are inside the medium right now. So also, uh, so as you can see, so far we have only uh, zero as the uh, stat, stat number. Uh, so let, let's look at the bottom of this file as it is quite long. Uh, So uh, when it comes to the bottom of the shower, uh, as you can see here, we have uh, minus one, which represents the recoil uh, or the hole, uh, which are coming out from the recoil. And uh, we need to subtract these recoil patterns uh, from, the, uh, from, uh, from the real patterns. Uh, to actually get the recoil effect. Okay. okay. So these are the information about this uh, meta plus LPT run. So uh, now we need to go to the meta plus Martini run, uh, which is uh, similar. Uh, we have uh, similar XML file. The only difference is this inclusion of this uh, Martini uh, energy loss module. And here we use the same uh, Q naught value uh, that uh, we used in the Meta plus LBT run. And here also we need to use uh, Q naught value similar in both uh, modules. And here we have this P cut, uh, which is implemented to uh, made this run faster. So if you use this as zero, then it consider all the part on or all the patterns up to uh, zero momentum, uh, zero transverse momentum to shower. That that takes quite a long time because of that we use this uh, cut at a low transverse momentum value uh, uh, to reduce uh, showering uh, patterns below this value. Uh, and if you use this as zero, then it will take long time to uh, finish the simulation. Uh, because of that, we use uh, this as one. So before going into this part of the simulation, so uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask. Okay. 
So So to run this, we need to use, uh, we need to be inside the build folder and we need to use the uh, Martini uh, XML file. So So here also the uh, top part of this uh, information is similar. The only difference is uh, only difference is the initialization of Martin, as you can see here. So here initialize matter and initialize Martin. Uh, these are the two energy loss module uh, so it can take more time uh, compared to the uh, meta plus lbt run uh, so because of that you can uh, reduce the number of uh, the number of events uh, uh, from the xml file uh, as we had in the as we had in the uh, meta plus lbt case we have this number of events at the beginning of the xml file we can uh, reduce it to maybe 50 uh, or even to less like 10 20 uh, just to get an idea Okay, since uh, this can take uh, uh, some time to finish, so I think this is a good time to have another poll uh, to see whether wh where are you right now. And so, uh, if you if you can run this up to this part, and uh, if you have if you don't have any question, please use the green tick mark. And uh, if you have any issue with this run, so from in here or before that, please use the red cross mark. So I want to ask that in the output, look at there's only Python and Hadrons. And what about mm -hmm. laptops? So if, if there are any leptons, those are also included in the partons and hadrons file. Uh, oh, okay, I just named yeah. it, but actually include leptons. Yeah, actually, if there are any leptons which are coming from the initial hard scattering or, uh, or at, the, at the intermediate shower, those leptons or photons or anything, uh, be included. Okay. Thanks. Uh, may I comment yes. about the about the the I don't I don't know the the leptons in the hard process. I've been trying to generate, for instance, a uh, drill yam and the hard mm -hmm. process. And uh, I think these leptons are not included in the final state hadrons. That I need to check.
so as far as i know uh, all these uh, initial state patterns that means initial state patterns that are produced uh, if we run petia gun that are produced in the petia gun that are included in the final state they had on list uh, but i haven't checked this file specifically for these initial state patterns but uh, in the test out file definitely they are included because i i i personally use that to generate a, a prompt photon results so because of that i i certainly know these are included and since this uh, final state uh, hadrons and final state uh, partons uh, are generated uh, from the uh, test out file uh, those are those should be included uh, abhijit uh, do you have anything to say no i i just wanted to say i think i think that's i think we have not uh, turned on the dralyan uh, uh, module so i think that's that's a, that will take a little bit more work uh, so you're right if you run dralyan uh, i think then the the uh, the output e plus e minus doesn't get transferred to the final state um, but that can be done uh, if you want <clears throat> if that's what you're interested in doing uh, it's it's not that difficult to do uh, but it it will take a little bit more work okay i see <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's currently set up for like like PP basically. So the so default setup is you run proton proton, and you're looking for uh, partonic and hadronic final states. But of course, if you make like photons in initial hard scattering, those photons also get transferred over to the final state. I see. So you your turn is for for this flag for this Pythia flag QCD to everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah, because I, I've been trying to generate uh, TT bar also, and uh, I'm I'm having troubles with with the leptons. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we we haven't spent enough time on on on, on TT bar or Dralyan. I think these are the things that we haven't actually gone uh, and, and tested. Yeah, so everything up to bottom quarks is has been tested and 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 checked, and you know there are results out there. Uh, I but, see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a question on it on Slack about recoil and uh, what to do with minus one and the jet hydrons. Let's Okay, so uh, what recoil means is uh, so uh, when we have a jet uh, traversing inside the medium, we can have medium response that is uh, coming from uh, coming from the medium. Uh, since uh, we are not like if we want to uh, combine the medium and the jet partons, then we need to use. Uh, medium response using a reuse hydro that means we have to run hydro twice and you will you will be learn about that in uh, future sessions as well and uh, if you don't use this uh, reu sorry uh, the, uh, if you don't run hydro for the second time then we have to include the medium response uh, in in some way so we can use the recoil for that. So that means we create a hole, uh, and we 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 get a parton from the medium uh, to interact with the jet, and from that we create a hole. So we will shower these uh, partons and holes uh, together, uh, but 
eventually at the end, we have to subtract these effects from the holes. So uh, to identify that, we uh, denote holes with status minus one. And then once we, uh, once we hadronize or uh, we hadronize the particles and holes separately, and uh, the hadronization products from the holes uh, has the same minus one uh, status. So we can subtract uh, these uh, holes from part on list uh, to, uh, to compensate for the medium response effect. But to exactly actually get a medium response, then we need to uh, run uh, hydro twice uh, and uh, get the exact medium response. Uh, but you you will learn that in uh, uh, future sessions uh, in more detail. And uh, what was the other question? So, in Kevin's question, buffer size is too small. So that may be uh, your memory might not be enough. Uh, that might be the problem. But this is this is too large. But I I cannot uh, exactly uh, answer for this question because I'm not sure why you're putting buffer size too small. And Okay, so let's move on. Uh, so, so far we have like uh, 12 tick marks. So I think it's good to move on now. So now we generated uh, three types of event. Uh, so Meta plus LBT, Meta plus Martini and vacuum event uh, with uh, mono energetic jets. Uh, and now let's uh, try to get uh, the PT distribution. Uh, that is a general observable that we can get, but we can get uh, any other observable by using this data. But uh, given that we have very limited time, uh, we'll just look at the PT spectrum and you will look at different observables and different uh, other things within the uh, upcoming uh, hands-on session. So for that, uh, uh, I have included a small Python script. Uh, so you, you can look at that. If you look at this analysis particle spectra, uh, so we have a small Python script. So, uh, so working path. So if you if you are inside the Docker container, this working path remains the same. Uh, but 
you can change the data file name uh, from here. And if you need to use Meta plus LBT, he, this one is uh, this one does not include recoil. So here we just get all the part all the particles. So if you need to include recoil, then we have to change this a little. So I will I will explain how we can change this to uh, uh, subtract the recoil effect. Uh, and so we can uh, run this for meta plus LBT and we can get the result uh, and we can compare the result when we subtract the recoil effect. So, Okay, so to run this, we just need to do the so uh, now it creates the uh, creates the result. So let's see the PT spectrum. So this is the PT spectrum you can get. So, so if you want to include the, uh, if you want to subtract the holes, then we need to define another histogram like this. Uh, then uh, if this st status is minus one, uh, if this status is not equal to minus one, then we uh, fill the transfer momentum in one uh, histogram. And if it is minus one, we fill it in another histogram. And then uh, finally, uh, we subtract the two histograms, uh, y component of the two histograms. So you need to change this line. And uh, you need to change. So here in the previous uh, script, we only have this line. So we, you need to change this part of the line and uh, uh, you need to add this line to uh, divide by the number of events, delta y and delta pt, and then uh, finally change this line. And you can change this to maybe uh, recoil. So these are the only modifications you need to do. Uh, I will I will upload this script uh, to the to the repository uh, once we complete with this. Uh, So we can complete this part today and then uh, we have another one hour uh, tomorrow morning. So in that time, uh, we spend some time uh, talking about uh, how we uh, create a custom module. Uh, in this case, we are, we, we are going to discuss uh, uh, the jet, uh, jet energy loss module, uh, custom jet energy loss module. And
so if you if you have any question please uh, feel free to ask and we can have a little poll uh, so if you have any issue with the uh, running all this stuff please use the uh, red cross and if you if you are completely if you are if you completed all this stuff then use the green uh, tick mark thank you And if you have if you have any issue while doing these exercises, then uh, please uh, try to uh, do those at home. And you can always uh, send us a message to Slack at any time, and uh, you will get a response from uh, somebody to resolve your issue. And uh, even if you have any issue until tomorrow, then we can talk about that in the tomorrow science on session in the morning. Thank you, Chaturanga. Any outstanding questions? Going once. Going twice. Any um, any words from the organizers before we call this um, the first day? Yeah, not particular for me, but. Uh... I hope everybody enjoyed the introduction of the framework and uh, we'll have the whole two weeks for you to play along with them for you. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you for getting involved and I'll see you all uh, tomorrow. Have a great day. See you all. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Thanks, John. Bye. Thanks, Chato.